If you're new to my channel, I am a big believer in using game engines to render your animations for quick workflow and high quality renders. But what if you want to take advantage of Unreal environments but render it down your own program? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can export the Unreal asset textures coming up right after this. Welcome back Roundtable, this is Cliff from Roundtable Studios where we produce animation videos and show you how you can make yours too. So I've gotten a couple of questions on my previous video when I explained how to export an FBX environment from one program to another about bringing over the textures. Now I didn't explain it before because I used the process of bringing it over from Unreal to Maya so the camera can match the environment, but some of you guys expressed that you wanted to render it out in your own particular programs. So here we go. This is the same environment from the previous video, the Polar Sci-Fi Facility, so click the card on the top to take you to the video to explain the part one of this process of explaining the environment out of Unreal. Once you're done with that and you have your environment, let's go ahead and continue the process. In your content folder, you're going to find the texture folder. In a texture folder, you're going to find the different textures for your environment. So for this environment, the textures folder have the interior while the vista folder holds the exterior textures what you're going to do is select all of them right click asset actions bolt export find or make a folder in your computer to place a document and then click select folder and that's it for in real and now we're going to move into your 3d program i personally use autodex maya but the same idea applies to whichever program you guys decide to use in Maya, we're going to open up the Hypershade, which is your texture editor, which will actually have all your materials assigned to your mesh already. So that's a big bulk since that will save us a lot of guessing and a lot of time. The materials are also named in congruent with your textures, so here we're just playing a game of matchup. I'm going to select the wall material and go into my texture folder and find the wall texture that matches. Right now, I am only focus on the diffuse or the base color so you guys can obviously see it. Once you attach it, you should be able to see how the seam reflects your adjustment. It can be a little time consuming since you have to relink the textures to the materials, but Unreal does give away free environment assets monthly, so a free high quality environment that you only have to link materials and textures seems like a pretty good deal to me. Make sure to check the epic terms and conditions on the use of their assets. They really want you to use them for Unreal Engine, so make sure that whatever you decide to use it for, you don't get in trouble too over there. Now, whether you're using Unreal Engine or your own 3D program to run out the environment, if you're animating an action or a fight scene, you want to make sure you capture it in the best way possible. I did make a video on some tips on how you can improve your action scenes, but the next video in this series is how you can use the camera to greatly enhance your action animation. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.